welcome back to the games gamers you know we were pounding the table on better fps we talked about this uh thoroughly within the past two weeks and uh coincidence that um we, we see sig and around the verse start talking about uh, these these optimization and performance issues on the most recent episode around the verse I just watched an hour of it I'm fresh from watching it and I have to say I have a lot of mixed emotions after watching it they sat down and uh, in pure around the verse fashion what they did is they gave us all the flash first uh, they showed us the new hologram HUD the comms rendering target all the really cool shit that's being implemented designed that some of these things will be in 3.1 color blending uh, smoother uh, textures more polish better lighting new ships that are coming in that are going to be flight ready like the Terrapin and Reclaimer these are all very good things to build us up you know and then came the meat of uh, the issue which is you know the performance the optimization of the performance okay we're, we're going to hear this a lot lately and this is going to be kind of like the buzzword that you're going to hear now i love this i love talking to you guys this is real talk i just saved you an hour's worth of watching what i just watched in the frustration and i'm going to explain it kind of really basic and in layman's terms to you none of this you know salesman shit that you see and i love <laughs> i love my fan base because on the last video uh we've got a um comment here that i absolutely love and it's right you see a lot of content providers uh that are you know in youtube specifically but plenty of twitch streamers as well that sell it they're selling star citizen as they're they're basically or they're or they're regurgitating everything that you've just uh, seen in a manner that's so uh lame it's so basic that they're not really actually talking to you they're not they're not giving you a a valid uh feel of what's actually happening within the game you you just basically are seeing a, a, an across the verse in a, in a boring manner or or you're seeing somebody trying to sell it to you because oh i'm getting lots of views off this so i'm gonna make everything appear so great to you but no i don't want to talk to you like that you guys deserve better than that so like i said on and around the verse you saw everybody building it up and like oh look at all this great shiny new shit that's coming this way now let's talk about the real issues and there's three major issues and they explain the problems very well don't get me wrong sig the the, the designers the coders all they all exp explain the problem very well they talked about the three major issues which are execution units on fps and they talked about the communications between cpus and gpus called pipelining they talked about uh, the latency because the cpu is waiting for the gpu to catch up so they're saying okay on the execution execution the first problem is execution units on fps is kind of like on your end you know basically your cpu processor versus your gpu processor so they're saying okay well the first problem might be on your end <laughs> now a lot of us have what's needed like myself and many others that are still having issues on these low frame rates 5 fps 10 fps 15 20 fps like i'm getting which is you know like i said on on prior videos you know hey i can get the experience of star citizen with the 15 to 20 but i kind of want to you know when i'm in combat that's chunky it's terrible and, and I need better. I need better for a better experience. And the second problem was input latency. Okay. The third problem was uh, network code. Okay. So they, they've talked about, they talk about these. You, you want to watch the specifics. You want to watch the details of it. You want to go mind numbingly crazy. Go ahead and go for it. I, I watched it. Okay. And they explained the problems very well. They had graphs, charts. These are the reasons why this was going on. They explained that amazingly well. Although they did have one guy could barely understand what the English was. But Sig is worried. <laughs> This is what I gathered. Sig is worried about breaking the game at this point by inserting new code into the game. Uh, there, this is exactly what the issue is. You can see it in the faces of every coder and designer they had on this episode. They were all very nervous. Some of them had red faces. Some of them had difficulty swallowing as they were explaining the problems because they're worried about this huge citizen base that's completely focused on them. Like, hey, what is the, what the hell is the problem? And they know it. They can feel the the pressure on them. And, and you can see it in the reactions of every single person. I worked in the real world with real people negotiating uh, very large deals. And I have a pretty good read when it comes to what I'm looking at when, when I'm looking at a person's face. And I'm seeing many many of these guys, maybe they're not, they're not comfortable with cameras. But I, I think the underlying root of the problem is they're like, oh my God, these are all the problems we have to deal with. And uh, I don't know how I can explain this to people in, in a layman's terms uh, so that they get what these problems are. And then some of them were thinking, well, 
oh my god there's so many problems that like I, I'm, I'm worried about uh, uh, even even going through the litany of them on this episode. And how where do I begin? You can see all the you can see the exasperation of these guys as they're explaining it to you. Uh, they were like I said, they were very detailed in their explanation explanations of these three issues, which are affecting our experience. They also talked about looking at fixes for the issues and explain what they can do to solve the problems. But as I said previously, uh, they are very concerned about making such changes or inserting the code they needed to give us this good experience at this point in time. So what does this mean? Well, it means that we continue to deal with the less than satisfactory 15 to 20 FPS that a ton of us are dealing with. And let's not forget, we are talking about citizens who have systems that can handle more uh, than what SIG has demanded of us for playing Star Citizen. Hell, uh, most of my fan base are getting even worse than uh, 15 to 20 FPS with even the systems that they have. It's an absolute shame. So, so really, the question is the same question. When are the fixes coming, right? Well, from that wonderful tidbit of information, we now realize that we are in the development process and we are part of the process. So you either have to be okay with that or not. Like that's that's what I'm getting at, guys. We are part of a new process, and I've been I've been explaining this for a very long time. I guess we're going to keep dealing with these issues until it's fixed. <laughs> we basically were told in the most roundabout way possible, with this entire hour that I watched, that it will be fixed when we fix it. <laughs> so you're welcome, guys. I watched an hour's worth of this for this answer that is their answer and to, to most of us that's not satisfactory enough uh we want it sooner but guess what sometimes guys we're just gonna have to chill we're just gonna have to take a breath maybe play another game while we wait you know get the best experience possible that we can and that is the real talk guys that's the real talk the real talk of the matter with this particular game is that we're in a new development pro we're we're in a new way of funding games. We're in the development process as it's happening. This is what they need to tell us. This is in th that's all they needed to tell us in the in the round the verse. Guys, listen to this. Okay, Sig, what you need is somebody to explain to the basic common denominator user myself. Myself, okay? Don't, you know, the techno, the te great. I'm glad you went into all the various facets on what is going on. It's important. It's important. But have somebody communicate to us that is saying these things that I am saying to you now, that is talking to you in a manner where it is very easy to understand what it is. It will be fixed when it's fixed. Because all that explanation that you just gave me kind of put me in a rage <laughs> like that i sat there through all of that and the conclusion was at the very end 50 some minutes into it at the at the very end of listening to everything while i was waiting like oh what's the answer give us the answer the answer is It'll get it will we'll get there when we get there. We're like the kid in the back of a car that says, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? <laughs> no. Are we there yet? Uh, no. Are we there yet? 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 Are we there yet? And <laughs> Chris Roberts would say is like the dad driving, like getting completely frustrated, like We'll get there when we get there. But now I, I want you guys to stay tuned for my next episode, which will probably be next week, and it's going to be a good one. I'm going to talk about is SIG too big for itself? I, I want to get into that discussion after this particular one because while I watch this, I thought to myself, oh, is Chris managing SIG properly? Is SIG actually you know, way too big for themselves? Because I, I saw a little tidbit in there. And it made me feel like, wow, maybe there's a lot of uh, miscommunications going or that there's way too many Indians um, and not enough chiefs, you know, or or perhaps it's the other way around. But that's that's for another episode. And I think that'll be a great one. Thanks, everybody, for watching here on the games. Man, this is like this is the real talk. You guys, this is the real talk. Welcome to the games. And if you guys enjoy us, thanks for watching here. Uh, go click the Patreon card. Uh, go help us support us. Every single dollar that you donate is going to go back to the community. My whole entire plan is written there so that you guys can see I'm very transparent about how we're going to grow bigger, keeping up this momentum, having a great time streaming all different types of games on Twitch. So go down in the link, check that out. Great community. Go check our Discord out. 
Love you guys. See you on the next vid.